The next stage of snoring is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is estimated in the United States to be the most prevalent condition in the next 10 to 15 years. And sleep apnea occurs when you have a person who is thunderously snoring and then their airway walls close. They hold their breath. So apnea is a Greek word meaning without breath. Breath hold. The person is holding their breath during their sleep. There are three types, central, obstructive and mixed. Central is where the brain sends the signals to the body to stop breathing. It affects about 5% about of people. The most common form is obstructive sleep apnea. Many people will have mixed, which is a combination of the two. Obstructive sleep apnea is the most common type and is characterized by holding the breath from collapse of the upper airways during sleep. In other words, the airways close, they come in on themselves. And the person, is, their chest is heaving to try and take in breath. Their diaphragm is moving downwards, contracting to try and take in breath. But the airways have shut, they've closed. And this can take place between 5 and 50 times per hour. If it takes place more than 5 times per hour, it's termed clinically significant. And a breath hold can last up to a minute. And one's blood saturation, oxygen saturation levels can drop to as low as 50%. It's quite a serious condition, but for most people it's unrecognized. And the people with sleep apnea, they're not aware of it. It's generally the husbands or wives that are telling their partners that they've been holding their breath during their sleep. The partner is completely unaware of it. What's the prevalence of it? This is a study that was published in CHEST. Now it's back to 2003. So these figures are a little bit outdated. They will have increased, if anything. And from 8,000 surveys, one third were found to have a high pretest probability of obstructive sleep apnea, with a higher rate in the US, of course, more modern lifestyle. We haven't caught up with them yet. Than in Europe, 26.3%. Sleepiness affected 32.4% in the US versus 11.8% in Europe. Frequent snoring and breathing pauses were similar in both the US and Europe at 44%. Generally, it's estimated that about 35% of asthmatic, sorry, 35% of the adult population snore. That's generally the figure that you come across.